Are you concerned that your child seems to be delayed in their gross motor skills? Have you been surfing on the internet and determining that perhaps your child has cerebral palsy, which is why they're delayed in their gross motor skills? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you three signs that you should look out for in your child aged two to four and older if you're trying to determine if your child has cerebral palsy. The reason why I'm doing this video is not so that you can diagnose your child yourself, but really so that you can consider going to a pediatrician or a pediatric physiotherapist if you're concerned and your child is ticking these three signs. So here at My Fruit Physio, we see lots of little ones for their gross motor skills and often parents would be concerned that their child may have cerebral palsy because they're not moving so well. So the three signs that you could have a look at when you're looking at your child's gross motor skills is number one, is your child on their toes to walking? Or perhaps not particularly on their toes fully, but you notice, is your child able to get their heel down to walk with each step? Can they go heel down, foot flat, push off with both legs when they're walking? If you notice your child's not quite getting their heel down and it's worse when they're trying to run, they completely go onto their toes, then it's a sign that you could possibly have mild cerebral palsy. And it's definitely worth seeing a pediatrician or a pediatric physiotherapist for a full assessment. Please don't jump to conclusions just on one sign. The second sign is to look at your child's calf muscles and leg muscles. Now, if both legs are on their toes, then it may be that both legs are going to be smaller in muscle bulk. But if they're on one leg on their toes, you'll notice that that foot may have a smaller muscle bulk than the other. Now, if both legs are on their toes and they both look like they've got smaller muscle bulk on their calf muscles and their thigh muscles, then you want to assess to see if they're stiff in their ankles. Can your child get their foot back, you know, as far as possible, about five to 10 degrees with the heel and toes pointing towards their head when they're lying down? Can they get more range than that? If your child's really stiff and unable to get past 90 degrees, it's a sign that is important for you to speak to a pediatrician or a pediatric physiotherapist. Number three, can your child hop on one leg? So very often, if you find that your child is struggling to hop on one foot because they can't get their heel down flat and to really bend their knees and get down to momentum to spring up, then it is worth speaking to a pediatric physiotherapist about your child's gross motor skills. If you're finding that your child's taking one, two, three, it may be that they have cerebral palsy, perhaps very mild, before you panic and start to get um, very stressed about it, why don't you ring us here at My Fruit Physio, speak to one of our expert pediatric physiotherapists so that we can help you out. And certainly the number to ring if you want to speak to one of us is 02-9790-4233. You can certainly reach out to your pediatrician as well. That would be a useful person to go and ask some questions. Now, if you know somebody out there who's got a little one and they've been concerned, noticing that their child's not walking on their heels, often onto their toes, if they're noticing that one foot more than the other and the muscle bulk is, is smaller on one leg than the other, or perhaps even finding that their ankles are stiff, and lastly, finding that their child can't hop on one leg and they're already four years and older, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye.